In today's video, you are going to be introduced to materials in Unreal Engine. What is master material? What is instance material? How you can quickly create materials in Unreal Engine. I am also providing you guys a scene to download and follow along with me. The link of which you will find in the description. My name is Viral Shah and welcome back to my channel Render Rebels. You will be presented with this window. We are going to go to our camera. So let's click on perspective and let's click on sign camera actor. As soon as you do this, you can see the lighting is already done by me. We are going to create materials for this scene. Let's go to our content drawer here. Let's first create a basic white color material for our walls here. Let's just go to materials folder. So if you are into intro to materials, click on materials folder. Let's right click here and we are going to create a new material here. So there is a concept of master material and instance material in Unreal Engine. What is master material? So master material is your base material that you are going to create. And let's say if you're promoting any parameters like a glossiness parameter, a roughness parameter, a specular parameter from zero to one, or maybe you are want to promote a parameter of a texture like a diffuse map or a normal map, you can do it in instance material. So for that to work, you need to first create a master material. Let's just name it to M underscore base color. We are going to use this master material for metal, plastic, and also for our wall. So let's just double click it here. As soon as you double click, you will see a material graph editor open here. You can right mouse button and just pen in the material graph and you can just zoom in and zoom out with scroll in and scroll out. Right click on base color and just promote it to parameter. And as you can see, it renames it to base color and you can see there is a black color applied to our base color. Let's just double click it here and let's take it to around white. Now in real world, there is not an object that is pure black or pure white. So in Unreal also, what I prefer, I don't take it to zero value or take it to 255. I play between 245 to 10. So it totally depends on you guys also. So we are going to take it to around something like this and we are going to press OK here. Now what we want, we want a roughness also. So we are going to right click here and we are going to promote it to parameter. As soon as I promote it to parameter, you can see here guys, we are having a shiny material here. So it is controlled by the roughness value. So if I take it to one, you can see our material is now rough. And if I take it to zero, you can see our material is now shiny. So we are going to keep it around one for now. After that, we can tweak the value also. Now what we can do, we can do the same thing for the specular also, but Unreal is using a PBR method. So we are going to keep the specular to 0.5 only. We are not going to change this. If your material is going to have a metal look, so either an object can be metal or an object can be non-metal. So if it is a metal, the value should be one. And if it is a non-metal, the value should be zero. Right click on the metallic also and promote this also to a parameter. And now you can see we have this metallic option on here. So if I press one, you can see we are getting a pure metal here, but you can see as the roughness is set to one, you cannot see the metal effect. Let's set it to zero. And now you can see we are having this metal material here. Let's take it up to 0.3 and you will see a aluminum material. This is how you can create some base materials. Let's just take the metallic value to zero for now. And let's just save this. Let's just close this now. So let's say you want to apply this material. You can drag and drop it to the object. But as I told you, we want this parameters to be controlled because we don't want again and again to double click on our master material and edit the properties. So what we are going to do, we are going to create an instance material for this. So we can create multiple materials out of it like plastic, metal or shiny plastic or maybe black painted metal, something like that. To do that, we are going to use this master material. Now let's just right click here and let's just create a material instance. Let's name it to ball white. Okay. And what we can do, we can drag and drop it here. And now you can see we are having this white ball material. Okay. We can double click it here and then we can see that we have this metallic option, roughness option and specular option. And also we have this base color. We got this from our parent master material, which you can see here. It is linked with our parent material. Okay, if I double click it here, you can see this is the material that we have created here. So let's just close this. Now let's say you want maybe a orange color wall. You can click here and you can just change the values here. And now you can see the wall color is now changed. So this is how easy it is to create some basic materials. And let's just increase the roughness here because we want our wall to be pretty much rough. So let's take it around 0.62 and let's just save it here. Now let's close this. Now let's do one thing. Let's get out of the camera view. Let's just go inside. If you don't know how you can basically rotate in viewport, move the objects in viewport, then you can check out my recent tutorial, which I have done in our introductory series. This will be displayed somewhere over on the top of the video. Now let's just go inside here. And now let's create a black plastic material for this table here. So let's go to our base color. Let's right click and create a new instance material. 
let's just name it to black plastic okay let's just double click on our black plastic here let's first apply the material so what we can do we can just drag and drop the material here okay or you can select the objects also and you can replace it from here also so now you can see we have this white plastic we are going to double click it here we are going to zoom it a bit because we want a reflective black plastic here so we are going to turn on the roughness and the base color let's just give it a black color something like this okay we don't want a pure black and now you can see this is looking pretty much good but what we can do we can take it to somewhat black and we can now adjust the roughness here so if you want a rough plastic you can go around 0.6 and if you want a shine plastic or reflective plastic you can go around 0.3 or something like that now let's apply a metal material to our lamp here so let's just click this let's just go to content drawer let's just again right click on our base color and let's create a material instance again let's name it to paint red let's just drag and drop it here now you can see this is done what we can do we can again double click it here we can go to metallic and turn the metalness to one we can go for base color and we can take the red color or the yellow color as we want here okay we are going to go for this red color here and let's just take it to maybe a bright red okay let's press ok here i will go around point three maybe okay and i will close this now let's look at the materials that quixel bridge provide us that mega scans provide us so click on this new tab here now go to quixel bridge if you click on this home icon you will find a surfaces here and if you scroll down you will find a category of metal here and if you go down or you go into gun you will find some materials that are related to bronze or something like that okay i have already downloaded some materials you can see this tick mark that means it is already downloaded but if you're downloading it for the first time click on the material that you want go for high quality depends on the quality that you want and just download it out once downloaded you can go to your downloaded library here and you can search for the materials that you have downloaded so let's say metal this brass material and let's just add it to our scene once it is added you can just drag and drop it to your object and there you go now you have this metal material from mega scans let's apply a black metal to this window grill so if i go outside you can see we have this metal window we are going to again take a copy of this red metal okay by pressing ctrl plus g and we are going to name it to black metal okay we are going to double click it here and we are going to change our color to a black color here okay and let's just press okay let's take the roughness to around 0.3 or maybe we want it to be more rough so let's go up to 0.5 just click on the objects and let's just apply the material here. now we are going to create texture materials to create a texture material you need to go to content drawer again we are going to create a master material as we did for our base color also from which we created various materials same way we are going to do the same thing here we are going to right click here we are going to create a new material here and we are going to name it to m underscore texture material you need to double click it here now we are not going to load any colors here or any parameters here we are going to load maps here like diffuse map roughness map normal map we are going to add this here so to add that you need to copy and paste your textures in this textures folder you can do it by two ways either right click and import or you can just drag and drop your texture as you can see here i have the textures available which i have downloaded i am also going to provide it to you guys so you can experiment with it we are going to take this wood material here and we are going to drag and drop it to our texture folder soon as the importing is done we are going to drag and drop them to our master material here and now you can see here guys if i click on content draw you can see this star it means that your textures are not saved your file is not saved so let's just press ctrl plus s and now you can see our textures are saved we are going to go here and we are going to apply this materials here so we are going to connect our rgb of our diffuse color to base color now you can see we have this texture here we are going to connect our normal to our normal here and we are going to connect our roughness to roughness here and now you can see we have the textures here okay let's just save it and let's just apply it here first then we are going to do certain things okay so let's just go to materials let's just right click here let's just create a material instance let's just name it to wood if i double click it here guys you can see there are no parameters here to replace the textures how you can get those parameters here you need to go to master material which you can see we have it here you need to right click here and you need to convert to parameter and now we will name it to base color okay if i save it here and now if i go to our start here 
and we if I double click it here and now you can see we have our base color so same thing we are going to do for our roughness and our normal also so we are going to right click convert to parameter and we are going to name it to roughness and we are going to right click here also and we are going to convert it to parameter and we are going to name it to normal okay and if I save it here now and I go back to my scene and if I click on wood material and now you can see we have the parameters here now let's just drag and drop our wood material to our floor and as soon as I do that you can see our floor is going this side and our material is going this side so we need to rotate the material now I don't think so this is our original texture so let me go to the folder and yeah you can see we have imported the plastic one we need our roughness map so we are going to go to here and now you can see we cannot directly drag and drop so we are going to go to our content here and we are going to go to textures and we are going to go to our wood floor and now we need to replace it here so we can do it easily guys what we can do we can go to materials we can double click on the wood and we are going to replace it here so if i go here and you can see here is our wood and we can easily replace it here okay so this was plastic i did by mistake so we will click on this and now you can see we can see it perfectly here but we want our wood to be rotated 90 degrees so for that we are going to go to our material here and we are going to add a function for tiling and rotation you need to right click here type mf underscore tiling and you can drag any one of them or click any one of them and just connect the result to your uvs here okay as soon as i have done this and if i save this and go to my material wood material if i double click it here and now you can see i have the parameter of tiling and rotation also so let's just open this let's rotate it to 90 degree okay if i press 90 you cannot see you can see anything is not happening because to do 90 degree you need to do 0.25 in unreal and now you can see our texture is rotated so i can go for 0.5 by 0.5 and you can see it is getting bigger here okay so if you want something like this you can go for it i want it too small so i will go 2 by 2 here and if i go to my perspective and my sign camera actor you can see this is my wood material which is applied here okay so let's just close this now let's say i want to have certain functions of intensity of roughness or in normal also how we can do that we need to again double click on our master texture okay what we need to do we need to tell unreal that okay i need a roughness map and i need you to control the intensity of that roughness map so you can do it with a function called multiply here just hold m and left click and you can see there is a multiply node a goes in our rgb of roughness and we will have a value here like 0 to 1 or maybe 0 to 10 or maybe 5 6 something like that to control our roughness and that is called a constant vector here okay you can hold one and click and now you can see we have a value here so it can be 0 1 2 3 4 something like that we can promote it to parameter as usual right click and convert to parameter and we will name this to roughness in 10 set okay let's just take it downward a bit let's just connect this okay and let's just connect this to our roughness as well okay now take the value to one which is by default set to one and if i save this here and if i go to my wood instance material now i can control the roughness also as you can see a roughness intensity so we are again going to go to this we are going to copy this you can copy this also so just select two by holding control just paste it here just name it from roughness intensity to normal intensity and do the same thing as we did here also okay let's just connect this and let's just take this to normal we can now easily adjust the intensity of roughness and normal in advanced sessions we are going to add hue saturation tint and all that stuff we are also going to create a pure fabric material but right now our focus in is on introducing you guys to materials now let's apply the fabric material to the chair if you guys want you can either create this master material instance and use the textures or what you can do you can create it from mega scans also so we are going to go to pixel bridge we are going to search for fabric here okay and let's say we are going to add this to our fabric or let's say we will add this one to our fabric let's click on add here and let's just drag and drop this material here and now you can see we have this material applied to our chair in the same way you can add the wood material also 
and if you want you can replace the textures here also if you go here you can see albedo ard ard stands for ambient roughness and displacement and a normal map so if you want you can replace it with the textures that you have i have imported some textures here so let's go again to our intro to materials let's go to materials and if i go to textures you can see we have some fabric textures here which you can use in your scene so what i will do i can drag and drop it here and i can use this textures here okay and now you can see we have the material something like this and you can see it here also so now what we can do we can go upward here if you want you can play with the tiling also this is the same material function that we have used in our own texture material so let's just take it up to three by three let's just do it a small a tiny bit so this is looking good and let's just close this now let's apply the wood material to here of laminate wood so you can again go to pixel bridge you can search here for wood you can press enter here and let's just have a laminated wood let's say something like this apply wood let's just add this and what we can do we can drag and drop it here and now you can see we have a wood material applied to our chair same way you can apply the fabric material here also so to do that what we are going to do we are going to again go to pixel bridge let's just have this one as i have already downloaded it okay let's just add it and let's just drag and drop it to our cloth here basically our cloth is going inside our model here okay and if i scroll downwards also you can see this is doing the same thing now there may be a reason of inverted normal you can check that out or what you can do there may be a reason of two-sided material also so let's just double click on our material let's just first check about double-sided two-sided material let's just click on our parent material and let's just scroll down and make sure two-sided material is turned on okay let's just save it it will take a bit to save and now you can see this was the issue of two-sided materials okay so make sure that your two-sided material is turned on if you are facing the issues of something like this okay now let's just close this let's just close this here let's just close this also let's go to our camera again and now you can see this is looking something like this so let's apply a black plastic material to this so we have this black plastic we can just drag and drop it here and now what we can do we can go to textures let's just import our painting texture here okay our painting texture is imported now let's just drag and drop it so it's this easy to use the painting texture so you just need to make sure that it is a square texture but if you want you can have a material instance of this and if you want to control the tiling you need to click on the master material and as usual as i told you before also we need to add mf underscore tiling here and we just need to add it to our uvs and once you have done this and if you find that okay you need to stretch the painting a bit first let's just apply the material instance and then open the tiling option and now you can see we can do certain things like this so if you think that your paintings need to be stretched or something like this you can do it this easy and now you can see we have this basic material ready with us okay so this is how you create basic materials in unreal engine in next advanced sessions we are going to cover advanced topics of materials like fabric creation with the fall off then IOR index of refraction and all that stuff. Now I will apply materials to other objects in the scene as well and complete this room. You guys can now create materials in Unreal Engine without any problem. If you like my video, press that like button, share it with your friends who wants to learn Unreal Engine and subscribe to my channel for the future videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.